Hello Akuma fans, this is Charlie with the Gossiger application staff again with another tip for you on the Akuma control. I had a customer give me a call and asked if it were possible to share the tooling data between several of his machines. And yes, it is absolutely possible to save your tooling library to a USB stick and then transfer it to another machine. Now keep in mind that they do have to be the same kind of machine. Just because they're both turning centers doesn't mean they're going to utilize the same type of tooling data, but if you do, for instance, have, similar to this customer, a pair of LB3000 MYW machines, you can share these tools back and forth without any problem. So we're going to show you how to do that today. Keep in mind that the tools do exist in two separate locations and we're going to show you how to transfer them both. The first is right here under your easy modeling button. You know we've got pictures of all of our tools that we've created in easy modeling. And these are just the graphics that the machine is going to use either for the, um, the graphic verification or for collision avoidance. So we can save these out to our chip first. What I'm going to do is from the easy modeling page, I first select on the left hand side what is it that I want to save. In this case it's a set tool because all of these are already constructed for this customer and they are very functional. So we will highlight the set tool. And now we're going to arrow over one time to change the value of our soft keys down here. So one quick click and a second and now we have all of our saving and um, uh, backup options on the soft keys. Notice right is grayed out right now but that's simply because I haven't selected a tool. So let's just go ahead and select one. Now right is available and we can do multiples if we want by holding down the shift key and touching or selecting all of the files. Now we will write. It simply asks us where do we want to write it. We can either use our terminal connection or either of the USB uh, holders that are in the on the side of the control. In our case our chip is in the USO, the upper USB slot, so we'll maintain that. And then simply by clicking execute it will save out all of those files to my USB stick. Now when they do come in, it's going to take me a, a split second here, I will show you the location on the USB stick through my PC and you'll notice that it comes up as OEC STL. Those are not going to be viewable from anything but the OSP control. This is Akuma's version of a zipped file. It's got all the tool data in there, the mounting points, the pictures, the graphics, and all of the tooling data. So don't think you're going to be able to look at those on your PC. That's just for the OSP control. But now I could go ahead and I'm going to delete all of these guys. Just get rid of them so that we can see how to bring them in on the other machine. Similar to what we just did, we've got the set tool highlighted. We will read and read file. Then we'll select our USB drive and just like we did before, hold down the shift key, select them all and execute. Now it is going to one at a time tell me that it's going to look at each one of these files and I'll have to go through and verify each one and change names and all of that happy horse hockey. Now I'm going to cancel so that it doesn't take up all the time uh, that we have on this video, but we will get through it. So now I've brought them into the machine. That's simply the graphic. The second place where these files exist is in our tool data page. So I'll come over to the machine control and I'll touch the tool data button and normally we're sitting on the tool info tab showing us what is physically installed on our turret but in this case we want to bring them into the tool data file so touch the tool data tab up here now we have four registered tools that we've already taken care of let's just go ahead and take a look at one of these just to show you that yeah okay it's a C4 turning block, it's for the first spindle, it's got a graphic, everybody's happy. I haven't gone through and populated all the information about it, but at least we have enough to see how we're going to do this. Because these are already usable and attachable onto the turret, they're very handy and we do want to share them between machines. So similar to what we did in easy modeling, I'm going to arrow over twice and now I have tool data output and tool data input. 
first thing I'm going to do is send those out. So I'll click on the tool data output. So now we have all of these uh, files. These are the ones that are in our tool data station. And I can select individual tools if I want to simply by touching the tool and selecting select on. Or in my case, if I want to do all, I can check mark them with the all choice button. Now the right hand side again has the output folder. So I do want to say that it's going to be a new folder. Right now the device name is MD1, the machine directory. That's not where I want it. So before I get all into this stuff, I'm going to change the directory for where they belong. Now directory display, I'll say USB upper, select that, and there we go. Now it's selecting a new folder on the USB drive with a folder name of today's date and a serial number. Fine by me, I'm happy. So now I will say OK, ex execute the output. Sure, go for it. So now they're all sent out and I will open up my USB chip. There's the folder with the date and time on it. And there are the proprietary files from the uh, from the USB chip. And just like the easy modeling function, those are zipped up files that only Akuma knows how to read. So don't think you can open one of those on your Windows PC. So now I will close this down. Just like I did before, I'm going to delete the, the, uh, the tools that are in here one at a time just so that I can bring in the tools and you'll see how that functions. Again, we're under the tool data tab, arrow right until you get tool data input, tap that. This now is inverted from what we initially saw. Here is our input folder list. We are going to select our USB upper drive. It automatically found that folder because it's got the proprietary date and time stamp on it. We will select it on and now it's showing us what's inside the folder. How convenient is that? So now I could select individual tools to bring in or as I did before, say all of them. OK, execute and yes, tool data is now being read into the machine. And if I close this window, there they all are. By doing this, I can transfer the files in between machines and life becomes really simple for me. If you have any questions or problems, please feel free to reach out to your local Gossiker application staff. We're here to help anytime. Thanks.